So hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about MIT WPU that is MIT World Peace University. It is situated in Pune and I'm going to talk about everything about this college is how will you take the admission, what are the programs available in this college, what are the eligibility, what is the fees structure and especially the scholarship. There are many many scholarships that are provided in this college so I will tell you about that and what are the fests organized in this college, how is the hostel and all the campus life everything i will tell you in this video so if you want to know about mit world peace university just watch the video till the end and now without any further ado let's get started so yeah mit world peace university it is established in 1983 and it have the nrf ranking of 150 in engineering and uh, NACRED is A of this college and this university have a big 125 acre campus and the engineering campus is about 30 acres. So this is the basic overview of this college and after it let's see what are the programs available in this college. So if we talk about the programs in BTEC only I will tell and uh, there are other programs also in uh, this university. So you can check it out, I will give the link in the description and uh, I will just uh, show you here also. You can see uh, the programs which are available here are uh, in Arts also, Business and Management also, Engineering, Media, Law, Design, like BA, LLB, BCom, MBA, BBA, everything is here. So it is a very big university as you can see. Now I'll just talk about the programs that are available in BTEC. So the first one is civil engineering and uh, civil engineering with specialization and uh, mechanical engineering, mechanical engineering with specialization, electronics and computer engineering, ECE and uh, with uh, specialization also and electrical and computer engineering and uh, chemical engineering, bioengineering, petroleum engineering, material science and engineering. So these are so a lot of branches in this college. But uh, at last we will talk about the star branches that will give you a very very good placements in this college. So at first there is a computer science of engineering that is the core branch you can take that will give you a very good placement and also the computer science engineering with specialization like artificial intelligence and data science, cyber security and forensics and the third one is computer science and business systems. So these all are like star branches of this college. At next let's talk about what are the eligibility criteria to get admission in this college. So there are many eligibility but the basic is like you have to pass the aggregate PCM with uh, like 50 percentage and if you uh, are any backward class or having disability and from the Maharashtra state only then you will get like the compensation of 5 percent that is you will get at least 45 percent marks in these three subjects so it is all about it I will attach the all detailed eligibility criteria in the description so you must check it out after this let's talk what are the modes of admission in this college the first one is MST CET and the second one is J means, third one is WPU MWT that is the entrance exam of this college only and the fourth one is PERA CET and if you talk about the approx percentile so in MST CET exam if you have a score like 85 percentile and all you can get easily admission in this college and if you got like 80 to 90 percentile in J means you will get admission in this college and it is like that around 85, 90, 80 to 90 percentile you will get admission but if you have just like low percentile and also just contact me in the Instagram I can provide you admissions in this college also and uh, if you want uh, any guidance uh, if you want to take admission in this college by any means by any mode of admission you can contact me I can help you so after this let's talk about what are the fees structure of the college so basically the fees structure is around like 16 to 18 lakh bit faster of this college so it is basically like it is varying just because of the academic fees varying uh, just like uh, it is around like 3.1 lakh to 3.25 lakh per year uh, for example uh, the fees of uh, we can see that here yeah the fees of uh, chemical engineering civil engineering and all core uh, yeah, core branches are like uh, 3.1 lakh and for the tech branches like csc and csc with specializations it is like 3.25 lakh so it varies like that only after that the hostel fees is around 1.40 1.4 lakh to 1.6 lakh it, it 
varies just because of the AC and non AC room and the uh, amount of beds are there. In this single room, it is 1.6 lakh, and if it is two or three room, it is around 1.4 lakh. So it varies like that. So the fee structure, fee structure is like that only. It will cost you 16 to 18 lakh rupees. After that, let's see the best thing about this call is that it will give a lot of scholarships to the students. The first one is Dr. This will not cover the scholarship. It is a given like it will give you 100% fee waiver uh, if you fulfill the criteria. The criteria is like if you score 97 percentile and above it is J mains, then it will take. Uh, or if you score 98 percentile or above in MST CET, it will take. It will take the best of any board, whatever you got. It will take like that. And uh, for another branches, uh, electronics it is another criteria. For mechanical, it is another. So you can check that. I will give the this a PDF in the description below. You can check every other criteria for every other programs. This PDF is so so useful so for the scholarship. So you must check it out. Check out the description box. You can download that PDF. Okay. After it, let's see the second scholarship that is given, like MIT WPU Merit Scholarship. Uh, it is applicable for first year only. Yeah. The previous one that I told you that is applicable for four for all four years. The full program. But the second one is MIT WP Merit Scholarship. It is applicable for only one year, the first year. But wait, what about the second year, third year, fourth year? There is also scholarship for that also. That is in college after first year. Uh, if you hold any good rank in the semester exams, then you will award it again a scholarship. It is like that. The third one that is showing here, scholarship to the rank holders. See, this is this scholarship is awarded to the rank holders of UG, BG, and Integrated Diploma. So it is like that only after first year you will get the scholarship if you are a rank holder in your college. And there are many other scholarships I can show you and you can check it also in the description below. Like uh, scholarships for uh, Jammu and Kashmir migrant and uh, also uh, for defense, uh, also for alumni scholarship like if you scored like 60% in 10th to 12th, uh, more than that you will get. And there are many other scholarships, just check this video in the description, I will give it. After it, let's talk about what are the placement. The best thing about this card is man, the average is like 7 to 8 lakh. This is the average. For CSC, it is more than that, like 9, 10. Because of what I am saying now, highest package is 44.14 lakh per annum. But wait, every college is having more than that. But only one or two students get that. But in this college, 35 students got 44 lakh per annum package from Microsoft. So it is basically a big thing that 35 so mass recruitment is going in the, these dream companies like Microsoft in that much high price. So it shows that yeah this college have the potential man. And after it let's take what are the placement percentage in this college. It is around like 98%. Like most of the people who are eligible for placement uh, campus interview and exam, they all most get placement. And also 190 plus companies visited here last year and major companies like Microsoft, Azure Tool, Amazon, Adobe, Nvidia, Flipkart, Essential, TCS is all a source of big companies. They came here, they hired a lot of students from here. So yeah, this shows that the yeah, placement sale is very very active. They hire, they just uh, intake a very very big dream companies to there and they are also helpful to the students. Some students are there told me that they are so helpful in placement time. After this, let's talk about what is the best. Like, yeah, man, you also need a campus life. And about the campus life, the campus of the MIT World Peace University is like amazing. The infrastructure is so so amusing, man. The whole greenery is there, and there are like every kind of a sports a ground you need, and everything is there. The fests are also organized like R01 and Texas Pride. Those two are the two main fests of this college. R01 is a cultural fest, like. Uh, Cultural activities are doing uh, music, song singing, dancing, and all. And in Texas Pier, it is a technical event. And uh, like people uh, who are interested in uh, technical uh, robotics and all, they, they will make a robot and they just showcase their whatever prototype they have made, whatever projects they have done. So it is like that. So the fest are like that. And the campus, like, just believe in the infrastructure of this college, is one of the best in India and it is the best in the Pune. After this, let's talk about what is the final verdict, man. <laughs> like, what is the final verdict of my my opinion? Okay. So, final verdict is like it is having a very, very, very beautiful campus. In the pros, I will talk. The first thing that is a campus is very, very beautiful, man. 
it, the infrastructure is so beautiful as so many in the video and also the college life is going to be very good because there are many side activities that are going to done here and uh, sports activities are also there so college life is going to be very very good dream companies come and recruit the students in a lot of numbers like 35 students went to like microsoft in 44 lakh packages that is way enough and good amount of companies come here like 190 plus companies came and they give like almost 100% of placement to computer science department and if you talk about a scholarship man there are many many scholarships that are provided in this university so yeah it also neglects some of the con that is nothing gone in this video just one con of this uh, college is like it is having a high fee structure like 16 to 18 lakh but also scholarship is given there if you are a good student good academic score you will definitely get a scholarship and that fees will be deducted and that is very good like if we just neglect this high fee structure then with a scholarship everything is good in this college so why should you take this college if you take if you are not getting iit and iit jadavpur jadavpur why i am taking jadavpur is because jadavpur is having a good placement average placement and it is around like iid and iit it so it is very good college in very less fees which plani also give a uh, more average package from this college so like basically all t1 college are there now if you are not getting any tier one college then you can really really just try this college if you want admission in this college if you like this college like placements and all just dm me and i will help you to get admission to this college in a good rate man according to your every academic result i will give you the best scholarship that you will get so yeah this is all about this college why should you get this college if you are not getting any t1 college then you must try this college before any other colleges like srm and all because this college is having a very good record of placement and it has having a very good infrastructure and the campus life is also going to be one of the best okay so yeah this is all about this video if you like the video then please 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 subscribe my channel like this video comment any of your doubts if you have or if you if you have many more doubts and if you want admission just you can come to my instagram also i will help you the username is showing here the link is in the description in the comment box also so you can come there and just chat with me if you want any help and also share this video if any of your friends is in the need of college the need of uh, universities and just please please share i am making many private college review in this month so yeah subscribe to my channel if you want to know about other colleges and uh, yeah man the one thing i am saying i am giving the honest review of every college so this is my opinion also and uh, i am going to be very honest with for every college so if you want the honest review just uh, subscribe to my channel and i will meet you in the next video until then take care bye bye Yeah